Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Today I would like to showcase the Dior Book Tote. It is one of my favorite tote bags. And I do have three of them. And um, one of the book tote, I was being asked to do a picture or showcase more of it. And which is what this video is going to be about. That particular book tote was actually the first book tote that I purchased back in September last year. It is the Fall Winter 2019 Collections. And I haven't done much of this on YouTube, but it was on my Instagram. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like on YouTube. Okay, it comes with a dust bag. And I do have pictures on my Instagram account, LuxuryPL38. That picture, um, it doesn't actually, well, it does shows quite a fair bit. But um, it is, I was being asked to show it in more details. And I've decided to make a video of this. And also to compare with the other two book totes that I've got. Okay, this is Flamingo book tote it was released last year fall winter collections 2019 as you can see they have the flamingos on it and the colors are just gorgeous i like the details of the orange and blue here with the logo christian dior in black and the green on the palm trees i specifically like the bottom of it look at how gorgeous that is i did have a video comparison um, on my previous video but i didn't actually showcase much of this so i'm just gonna quickly showcase the back of it as well which is exactly the same as the front in most book told it will be the case and the side of it the palm trees just keeps on going as you can see I hardly ever use this as you can see the bottom bit it is still in excellent conditions brand new condition in fact I've only ever used this once I remember I've used this once a couple of months ago but um, for some reason I just kept on going for either this or my new book tote which is the small versions so I haven't been reaching out for this and I'm thinking of selling it and I was being asked on YouTube so this is also another reasons why I decided to make a video of it so that whoever that is interested they might be able to have a look at it in much more details and as you can see the handles Those are the handles. Let me just zoom it up a little. And that's the back of it. And that's the inside. I love the details of the book tote, the inside of it. Um, it is actually hidden as in um, whoever that purchased it will be able to have a look on the inside but the details on the inside it's a reflection of what's on the outside there's a flamingo on the bottom right and if you put it the other way around there is a flamingo there so it actually the stitches was well made because Dior actually showcased the stitches on the inside as well that's why I love the book tote the logo Christian Dior as well you can see at the back of it and if you personalize your name you can see the inside of it will have your name as well I haven't actually personalized mine and just small little details the blue details there one thing I have to point out to you um, the book tote will have stitches here i'm not sure if you can see it there's a black stitches that run across see how the black stitches that run across see those it run across the top portion of it 
the black stitches it just goes around it okay see how it goes around the book tote um, I face I basically just find that out when I purchased the smaller book tote which is this one as you can see the black stitches it is quite obvious on this small book tote because of the color combinations the red and the white and the black stitches that goes around it whereas in this one it is not that obvious I didn't even notice it until I purchased the small book tote which I do have another video that showcase unboxing of this when I bought it early this year so just want to point out that black stitches I actually find that necessary because if you look on the inside see how they have a part of it that is folded to make this portion thicker and that way it is more durable because it is actually thicker on the top it goes around and that's the reasons why they have the black stitches here because that is actually this portion will be thicker than the rest of the lower portions to make it more durable I suppose because of the handle to sustain the handle the weight of the handle they have to do that so you can see that it's actually well made in terms of um, how the stitches were done and they thought about all these things but let me just show you the inside of it again it is simply gorgeous and it comes when I purchase it it comes in a dust bag and that's the ribbon and that's the receive as I mentioned I purchased this on the new Dior boutique in Toronto that was recently opened in fact it was open a couple of weeks before this purchase was made so out of curiosity I went in there and I just fell in love with this book tote and I make a purchase it was purchased on Toronto 131 Blue Street West that is the Dior uh, boutique in Toronto downtown it is the largest boutique in North America it is even bigger than the one in New York but I heard that the, the one in New York they are doing renovations so the one in Manhattan might be bigger than this but at the moment the Toronto boutique is the largest it is gorgeous it has two levels and I purchased it on 30 of September which matches with the authenticity cut here I'm sorry but um, the stem was actually smudges out uh, but you can see it it says Christine Dio Toronto and the address 131 prominent Blow, Blow Street West you can see a little of that but that's where I purchased it from and I purchased it for 3,800 Canadian plus the tax so it comes out to 4,294 Canadian dollars and um, I just want to compare the three totes that I have side by side this is the um, monogram in burgundy so this is the one that I have um, on the previous video I did a comparison between Chanel and a book tote and also the Louis Vuitton on the go so I did a comparison video and I used this book tote for that and I did have another video on unboxing on this small book tote that I purchased early this year this is the Phoenix one and um, the material is just you can feel the material it is simply outstanding and um, you can feel the stitches as well so this is just a direct comparison of all this how it looks like and I have to um, make one final note that you can actually bend the book tote you can push it folded in like that which you can do so with this one as well you can fold it like that in fact that's how usually it is being stored 
And that's the difference between this and the other tote bag from Chanel, the Duval, and the On The Go LV. You cannot do that. So you can actually fold this like that and just store it inside the dust bag. Or if you want to maintain the shape, you need to get an insert that you need to put it in here to maintain the shape of it. So hopefully that helps with the showcasing of the Flamingo book tote that was released in fall winter 2019. Um, it was released four months ago and I actually purchased the last one they have. I'm very happy with that. But if you have any other questions, do let me know and please comment below and please like my videos or subscribe if you can and I do have an Instagram so do follow me on Instagram as well um, if you have anything else please comment on the section below thanks for watching